Okay, people, here we are, uh, 2024, back at Pang Pang, the Pang Pang, wider Pang Pang area. Uh, but this area is known as Malapong, and clearly an, a, an area of very, very early settlement. Parallel to the river, we have this massive mound feature behind us. Now that is more than four meters high, and is all made up of, of cultural material, essentially midden dumping, uh, mostly uh, made up of again of, of oven stone, oven cooking stone. People here are using the limestone coral uh, cobbles, which are great for cooking, but that they don't last. Essentially, they start breaking up very quickly, so they can be used two or three times and then they're, they're finished. So they massive accumulation of of material. So basically, our uh, I, uh, our thoughts are that there's a very nucleated community here next to the river. Uh, near the sea, etc., um, sort of feasting together, cooking together, and dumping rubbish together. Now they're dumping it up behind here. It's a, a mound that's probably 80 meters long, again, sort of parallel to the, to the river. So it's a really remarkable sort of feature on the landscape. So it's, it's more than just a sort of standard midden dumping mound or midden dumping area. It's clearly there's some cultural. Uh, aspect to it where they're ma making the effort of carrying these, cleaning up the household yard, all the cooking debris and refuse and things, and carrying baskets up here to dump it up here. So, um, but we know now through excavation that it, uh, it's related to the Erewhiti period at this stage. We've gone down, I think, a metre 50 in the higher part of the mound. It's all early Erewhiti, so about 2,600 to 2,800 years ago. Um, we see very, very concentrated stone in the higher areas and we've done some peripheral test pits that uh, indicate that right down the bottom uh, there is much less concentrated stone, more shell, more bone, uh, at a time when the, 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 the gardens, with the yam and taro and things, have not fully come on stream and essentially that people are using or you know, consuming uh, what's available locally. Uh, and essentially waiting for the gardens to really come on stream. So you can see that in the, in, the, in the stratigraphic deposits. So we'll have a small tour and talk to some of the students that are involved here on the work. Hello, I'm Ellie. I'm on the um, Vanuatu Field School this year. Um, we're at Test Pit 1 at the moment. Um, and I've just been sorting out the stuff that we've been finding through the sieve. So we have lots of shell. Um, we've been taught all the species that are common here, which has been really, really cool. Um, lots of work shell, which would have been bracelets, which is really awesome. Um, charcoal, some really, really beautiful intact shell. Um, yeah, it's been really great. I have also been getting lots of pottery. Um, we've got a lot of Arawedi pottery, which is just um, after Lapita period. This is my first, um, my first dig. So having so much material to work with on my first site has, yeah, feel really, really lucky. Um, so we're down here at the river um, doing a process called flotation. Um, so we're taking all of the, all of the dirt and the sediment from um, test pit one in that quadrant, the control square. Um, and, and we're doing this process called flotation. Um, what flotation is, is we're basically trying to get all of the organics, namely charcoal, um, to, to rise to the surface and get poured into this bag um, so that we can identify what kind of plants they were using um, throughout time and we can see if it changes through time, if there are periods where they're using more of a particular type of plant or if they're relying more heavily on meat and they didn't use as many um, plants uh, in their diet. We bring all that to the surface, we pour it through this flot bag um, and try to stop before we let any of the dirt into the bag. Hi, my name's Andrew. I'm a master's student uh, at ANU uh, studying archaeology as a second uh, stage career. Um, it's been great um, to be here at uh, Pang Pang. Uh, the practical skills uh, that you learn when you're out in the field are just enormous. Um, whether it's um, uh, sieving, um, uh, uh, finding uh, 3,000 year old pottery, which is quite a buzz, 
or uh, doing what I'm doing at the moment, which is collecting um, uh, archaeo botanical uh, samples um, through wet sieving of, of, of the soil from the, um, the dig site. Um, all up, I think it's just a, a great experience. It's great to be with um, uh, the people in the village. And that's the other exciting thing about the field school is spending that time in the village, getting to know the people who live there, seeing their lifestyle. Um, it's a really fantastic um, opportunity. My name is Janet. William, I am a and I am community of Pangpang. I have like uh, four sons, uh, so I am a son one. I am a little son one, so every time I come to Mivala, I am a cook, and I am a small man. I am a small man, 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 I am a small man. So I am a little man, I am a little man. One way I feel like it's very interesting. I feel like I'm not sure if I'm something else. I'm like, 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 I've just come back from the other site, um, working at the, uh, the Amer, um, supposed and now reasonably confirmed uh, cemetery. Um, and for, I was there mostly for my project, which is the idea that um, people over the last couple of thousand years here have sort of inscribed the landscape with various, um, various cultural features, things like the bunyan trees, the, uh, the imported she-oaks and um, other things like the ngao bushes which sort of represent protection. And you can see the cross time and cross space cultural continuity um, sort of from pre-mission to post-mission Vanuatu. Uh, here is an interesting site as well for that just because the actual construction of such a, a mound or a midden is sort of a way of uh, interacting with the natural landscape. Uh, in a, a truly creative fashion and making a, um, a quasi-natural landform for people from all around to be able to see. Um, hi, I'm Sam. I'm from Canberra and I study at ANU. Um, I'm a participant in the Peng Peng Field School in Vanuatu. Um, and yeah, it's been really good. Very sort of insane experience, to be honest. Staying at the village has been incredible and all the villagers have been incredibly welcoming and kind and um, we've tried lap lap and a lot of kava <laughs> um, and yeah we've been digging we've been working in a few different test pits and tried tried out flotation down at the river so learning lots of cool new techniques and um, yeah, it's just been amazing. It's been fantastic. I'm Jem. I'm also from Canberra slash Wollongong and I'm on the Pang Pang Field School with ANU. Um, this experience has been so amazing, being in the village with all the locals, playing lots of games of Lelu with the kids every day, which is tag. Um, the archaeology experience itself has been amazing. We've had lots of opportunities to do lots of different things. Um, Digging middens was one of the activities, as well as flotation in the river and working on a cemetery site with um, Frederique, which has been really insightful with her knowledge. Um, lots of carver, and I think I've almost gotten scabies from patting all the puppies here, but it has been well worth it. Coming to Vanuatu is um, pretty exciting for me. For the last two weeks, I feel I can see a lot more different things than normally you won't get to see if you travel to Vanuatu because to me it's an extraordinary uh, experience. My project is um, up on the stone ovens and uh, yeah that's why I'm here today because we're cooking a whole pig um, from start to end but uh, it's just cooking um, sweet potatoes and bananas just baking it and just tonight we're gonna have a big feast big party uh, hello, um, my name is Sarita Chen and um, I'm undergraduate student in ANU. For the three weeks I work in the cemetery uh, and uh, also the Malapong site and just like a bit of a different feeling. Um, 
and uh, definitely the good archaeological experience for my life. The most enjoying the part of so I just chat, try to and then there's some Bislama with the local people. Yeah, very glad to be here and um, a little bit sad that it's our last day. Um, but have learnt a lot of things and um, learnt a lot of new skills that we can take with us um, elsewhere in our careers or maybe even back here one day. <laughs> this is my first time being in a archaeological field school and I feel that it's a um, very great chance to like do my first digging, my first um, real analysis. Um, I have been worked in the symmetry for um, about a week and with a uh, world specialist, Frederick, and uh, I feel like I have learned so many stuff, even more than um, the regular class in school. So um, I'm happy that to having uh, another one in uh, ANU, and uh, I'm looking forward to um, uh, if we have chance to get back here and um, do more research. Here we are in uh, one of these old villages called uh, Emmer. More precisely, we are in a ceremonial place and meeting place uh, in uh, Emmer. You can see the banyan trees that are all over here. And uh, also you can see that uh, this place is very special. And uh, you can see that uh, in the middle of, uh, of this site, there is a number of uh, tabular coral uh, made in uh, different uh, organizations. This is another very nice example where you can see the shape, the triangular shape. We interpret this place as a, a workshop place. Uh, this is uh, representing um, the old religion, the pre-European religion. And at the same time, uh, at this site, we have done some excavation. And uh, we are discovering human, uh, human remains. My name is Blongi Mehar Singh. Um, I'm from India and I'm currently studying at the Australian National University, Canberra, in Australia. Um, so I'm very lucky and fortunate to be a part of this field school at Village Pang Pang in Vanuatu, 2024. Hello, my name is Amy. Um, I'm also very lucky to be here in Pang Pang with Micha and the team. Um, I'm from Canberra, Australia. and. Um, yeah, we're here digging at the uh, at the spiritual ritual site. We've just been in the trench. It's hot. It's muggy. Um, yeah, but we feel very lucky to be here. Uh, firstly, me me want to tell them what they ask me when I stop the place here before. Me me born the place here. Me never saw it. So got one something or something. He stop here. Me never saw it. Sometimes me will allow young life from me will allow me will I come me will I take one or two by after me, when I come down to the mountain, mountain, the toddy, the little little layer, me never saw it. When I come to Jerusalem, I think there's only one hill where I'm going to go to my land. But time we figure, yes, I'm going to come time to come to look cheap, to community, to only come to make a more research, to place a lot of little habitat. Time cheap, I'm going to come, I'm going to come right to buy the camp. I just find a more cheap, plant the interesting something is up inside there. For one, we look at one time where. Procedure is start the last year. Me for one, me stop the place of the festival because I'm in blood. <laughs>